this is a video to show what you do when you need to share a file with someone that's not in your company, for example, a help on forums, where the person that's gonna help you needs access to your underlying data to do something in Power Query. So if we take a look at this file here, it's just a basic stock file. It just has some simple closed data with various stocks and a simple line chart. Um, so say you're working with someone named Bill on this file. Now you don't know Bill or Bill is not your company or you're on different departments, but he asks you for help in this file. Um, the issues that he's having with can only be solved in Power Query. So we need to go there and investigate to see what we can do to help out Bill here. So they get to the Power Query, we go to Edit Queries, Edit Queries again. But our first problem here, we do not have access to this folder here. See Users Bill Desktop Stock Data. The issue is here is that when Bill imported this data, he did so using a text file, could be anything, a CVSV file, Excel file, etc., using this location. Now, this is Bill's desktop, so there's no good reason why we would have access to it. So what do we do? Well, luckily we have this data residing on our desktop. So we could just easily come in here, change this to where we know it lives. Oops, let me type in correctly there. And lo and behold, we get our data. So that solves one issue. But the other issue that pops up is that when we send this file back to Bill, he's gonna run into that same problem that we had when we first opened the file saying, hey, you don't have access to this data. So what do we do? Now, ideally, it would be just a shared data source on a network drive, a cloud drive, etc. But for the sake of this argument, that's not possible. So how can we make this as easy as we can for everyone that wants to help? Simple solution we create a simple parameter that will feed into this source here. Instead of this hard-coded value, it will be a drop-down. A user could type in something, so it will change easily. So how do we do that? We go over to here, and we go to Manage Parameters, and go to New Parameter. We're gonna go over here, and we name it whatever we want. I like to call this one File Location. And the current value, now we have to be careful on this. We can't just put the folder location, we have to put the full file name. Now in a future video, we'll show you how, and a reason why we won't wanna do that, but for this simple solution, we will show that we wanna put this whole file path in there. So the current value is just this C users here. So we will just go ahead and type that in there. Make sure you put the full file location and file name. And we click OK. So far so good, pretty easy. So what do we do with it? Actually that's stock data. Let's make sure that's right. We go back to our stock performance data query here and we click the advanced editor. Now the issues that you'll see in the future are Anything you see hard-coded is a recipe for things that become inflexible and will break. So we want to get rid of this hard-coded value here. So what do we do? Simply all we do is just type in our parameter and Power Query knows what we're talking about here. So it gives you that. So now instead of that hard-coded value, it's going to pull into whatever we put in that parameter value. We click done and we're good. So nothing really changed here. So why, why do we do this? What we can do is in this manage parameters is we give a list of values. So we know where our value lives, our folder. So we can put that in there. But we also know where bills live because we have the same type of naming structure. So we can call this just change this out to bill and we'll change the default, default value to whatever and current value is, we'll call it ours here. So when we send this file back to bill and it's pulling in our folder location and it's gonna air out at him, he could just easily change this to that 
But now, see what happened? It errors out here because it knows where to look for the file, but we don't have access to this. Bill does because it's his desktop. So we go ahead and change this back and we're back to good. So we can make any sort of transformations, whatever we want to do in here, send it back to Bill. And all he has to do is simply go into Power Query and change this to his file location and he's good to go. It's just an easier way to, to make it flexible, to help people out there helping you. Uh, this, this really becomes helpful when we have multiple files and instead of a specific file, we just have a general folder location, but we'll cover that in a future video. This is just a simple one to show you how to create a parameter to make things a little more flexible for everyone involved. Hopefully it helps. Thanks.